witnesses. The Harkonnen operation was perpetrated overnight. In the vast expanse of science fiction cinema, few epics rivaled the grandeur and depth of Denis Villeneuve's visionary adaptation of Frank Herbert's masterpiece, Dune, Part 2. Directed and produced by Villeneuve, who co-wrote the screenplay with John Spates, this 2024 sequel continues the saga of Paul Atreides as he navigates the treacherous sands of Arrakis, forging alliances, and facing formidable foes in his quest for power and survival. With a stellar ensemble cast including Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, Rebecca Ferguson, Josh Brolin, and an array of other talented actors, the film immerses audiences in a universe teeming with rich characters and intricate narrative. But what sets Dune, Part 2, apart isn't just its stunning visuals or gripping storyline, it's the culmination of years of anticipation and dedication to bringing Herbert's intricate world to life on the silver screen. From the meticulous attention to detail in production design to the profound themes woven throughout the narrative, every aspect of the film is crafted with precision and passion. As the sequel to one of the most ambitious sci-fi adaptations in recent memory, Dune, Part 2, doesn't just meet expectations, it exceeds them, inviting viewers to embark on an unforgettable journey through the sands of Arrakis and beyond. With its release, it solidifies its place as a cinematic landmark and leaves audiences eagerly anticipating the next chapter in this epic saga. In a universe where power lies in the grasp of those who control the spice, the saga of Dune, Part 2, unfolds with an intensity that grips the soul. As Princess Irulan solemnly states, power over spice is power over all, setting the stage for a tale of political intrigue, ancient prophecies, and the enduring struggle for dominance. With echoes of the past haunting every decision, Dune, Part 2, delves deeper into the complexities of loyalty, betrayal, and the ruthless pursuit of power. As Paul Atreides wrestles with his destiny and the weight of expectation, his journey becomes a crucible of survival in a world where cruelty knows no bounds. Yet amidst the chaos, alliances are forged, and bonds are tested, as the characters navigate a landscape fraught with peril and uncertainty. From the wise counsel of Stilgar, who declares, only freemen can survive in here, to the haunting wisdom of the wise woman who implores, give them back to the desert. The desert will determine their fate, each moment is steeped in significance and consequence. As the sands of Arrakis shift and alliances are forged and broken, Dune, Part 2, emerges as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring power of hope. With its breathtaking visuals and compelling performances, this epic sequel transports audiences to a world beyond imagination, where every choice carries the weight of destiny. So, buckle up and prepare to be swept away by a cinematic experience unlike any other. For in the words of Cheney, here we're equal, and in the vast expanse of Arrakis, anything is possible. In Dune, Part 2, we witness Paul Atreides seeking sanctuary among the freemen, the native inhabitants of the harsh desert world Arrakis. Haunted by the treachery that shattered his family, Paul is torn between seeking vengeance against the ruthless Harkonnens who seized control of Arrakis, the sole repository of the coveted spice melange, the most prized commodity across the cosmos. As Paul immerses himself in Freeman customs and taps into his latent abilities, he emerges as their leader, Muad'Dib. He rallies the disparate Freeman factions, promising liberation from the Harkonnen tyranny. Yet, Paul's prophetic visions of a cataclysmic future ignited by holy war weigh heavily on him. He faces a pivotal choice between his affection for Cheney, the freeman woman he holds dear, and the destiny of the entire universe teetering on the brink. The narrative delves into the complexities of authority, fate, and the perils of zealotry as Paul grapples with the mantle of a messianic figure. In Dune, Part 2, 
the sands of Arrakis become the stage for a constellation of stellar performances that drive the film's emotional resonance to new heights. Returning to reprise their roles, Timothy Chalamet captures Paul Atriide's evolution with raw authenticity, while Zendaya's portrayal of Cheney reveals a deeper layer of her character's spirit. Rebecca Ferguson once again navigates Lady Jessica's complexities with grace, adding depth to her maternal bond and Bene Gesserit heritage. Among the newcomers, Austin Butler's Phaedrotha Harkonnen is hailed for his compelling portrayal, exuding a captivating mix of charisma and ruthlessness. Florence Pugh's mysterious character adds another layer of intrigue to the narrative, drawing audiences further into the story. Supported by a talented ensemble including Javier Bardem, Josh Brolin, and Stellan Skarsgård, the film's performances collectively create a rich tapestry of characters and emotion. Seamlessly blending established portrayals with fresh energy, Dune, Part 2, delivers an immersive and resonant cinematic experience. As Paul immerses himself in Freeman customs and taps into his latent abilities, he emerges as their leader, Muad'Dib. He rallies the disparate Freeman factions, promising liberation from the Harkonnen tyranny. Yet, Paul's prophetic visions of a cataclysmic future ignited by holy war weigh heavily on him. He faces a pivotal choice between his affection for Cheney, the Freeman woman he holds dear, and the destiny of the entire universe teetering on the brink. The narrative delves into the complexities of authority, fate, and the perils of zealotry as Paul grapples with the mantle of a messianic figure. In the next chapter of Denis Villeneuve's Exploration of Dune, Part 2 showcases a masterful grasp of narrative intricacies, visual storytelling, pacing, and thematic depth. Here's a closer look. Denis Villeneuve seamlessly expands upon the rich tapestry of the Dune universe established in the first film to be transported to the mesmerizing landscapes of Arrakis once again, as Villeneuve continues to push the boundaries of visual storytelling. Through carefully crafted cinematography and awe-inspiring set design, the film not only captures the grandeur of the desert planet but also amplifies the emotional resonance of the character's struggles. Epic action sequences are brought to life with groundbreaking visual effects, promising an unforgettable spectacle. Villeneuve demonstrates a keen understanding of pacing, striking a delicate balance between narrative progression and immersive world-building. The deliberate tempo of the film allows audiences to fully absorb the intricate details of the Dune universe while building tension to captivating effect. Rather than bogging down the story with unnecessary exposition, Villeneuve keeps the momentum flowing, ensuring a gripping viewing experience from start to finish. At its core, Dune, Part 2 is a testament to Villeneuve's visionary direction. His cohesive and ambitious approach to the material elevates the film beyond mere adaptation, transforming it into a cinematic masterpiece in its own right. With a keen eye for detail and a deep understanding of the source material, Villeneuve expertly navigates the thematic complexities of power, ecology, and the human condition, offering audiences a thought-provoking exploration of the Dune universe. Denis Villeneuve's directorial prowess shines through in Dune, Part 2, delivering a visually stunning and emotionally resonant cinematic experience. With his deft handling of storytelling, visual aesthetics, and pacing, Villeneuve invites viewers to embark on a mesmerizing journey to the heart of Arrakis and beyond. In the realm of script analysis, a veil is lifted, revealing insights into the intricacies of Dune, Part 2's narrative tapestry. As the script remains a hidden treasure, glimpses from early reviews illuminate its essence, focusing on the pillars of dialogue, character evolution, plot intricacies, and narrative architecture. Echoes resonate of weighty profundity in poetic elegance, mirroring the intricate souls inhabiting this universe. The dialogue, it seems, maintains the philosophical depth of its predecessor, capturing the essence of characters and their universe in a lyrical dance. The journey of Paul Atriides unfolds with heightened intensity, exploring his metamorphosis from a young duke to a looming figure of prophetic significance. Lady Jessica's inner turmoil, torn between her training and maternal instincts, is poised for deeper exploration. And amidst the established cast, new faces emerge, promising layers of conflict and intrigue. A delicate equilibrium is struck between exposition and revelation, as the script navigates the complexities of its world. While the second act may tread a slower path, it lays the groundwork for a climactic crescendo, leaving the audience yearning for the promised conclusion. Yet, amidst the promises lies a shroud of uncertainty. Will the script effectively traverse the vast expanse of the novel's narrative? Can it sustain an unwavering engagement throughout its journey?
The script for Dune, Part 2 emerges as a worthy successor, embracing the ethos of its predecessor while carving its own path. Prepare for a cinematic odyssey brimming with dialogue that stimulates the mind, characters that stir the soul, and a narrative that beckons the audience deeper into the sands of Dune. As anticipation mounts, the script stands as a testament to the promise of a visually captivating and emotionally resonant cinematic voyage. Early reviews paint a dazzling picture of the cinematography in Dune, Part 2, suggesting it surpasses even the brilliance of the first film. Here's a breakdown of the visual magic at play. Grandiose yet intimate, the film reportedly maintains the grand, awe-inspiring landscapes of Arrakis while employing close-up shots to capture the emotional nuances of the character. Building upon the established world, expect a continuation of the first film's distinct visual style, characterized by a blend of harsh desert environments and opulent palace interior. A touch of the mystical, reviews hint at the use of lighting and color palettes to create a sense of mystery and otherworldliness, reflecting the mystical elements of the Dune universe. Immersive storytelling the use of wide shots and sweeping landscapes is said to draw viewers into the vastness of Arrakis, while tighter framing during dialogues creates a sense of intimacy with the character. Power dynamics through framing, camera angles are reportedly used to visually represent power dynamics, showcasing the contrasting positions of the Atriides and Harkonnen. Building tension, reviews suggest the use of dynamic camera work to build tension during action sequences, further immersing the audience in the unfolding events. Contrasting light and shadow, the harsh desert sun is expected to be balanced with dramatic use of shadow and light, creating a visually striking and textured world. Highlighting emotional states, lighting is said to be used to emphasize the emotional states of characters, adding depth and nuance to their performances. A palette of color, early reviews hint at an expanded color palette in part 2, potentially showcasing the vibrant bioluminescent life of Arrakis. Dune Part 2 cinematography appears to be a masterclass in creating a visually stunning and thematically resonant world. The film is expected to be a treat for the eyes, with its grand scale, meticulous world building, and subtle visual storytelling techniques. While the full visual impact can only be experienced in the theater, early reviews suggest that Dune, Part 2 will be a visually breathtaking cinematic journey. The combination of Villeneuve's masterful direction and Greg Fraser's stunning cinematography promises to elevate the film into a visual spectacle that complements the complex narrative and captivating character. Echoes resonate of weighty profundity in poetic elegance, mirroring the intricate souls inhabiting this universe. The dialogue, it seems, maintains the philosophical depth of its predecessor, capturing the essence of characters and their universe in a lyrical dance. The journey of Paul Atriides unfolds with heightened intensity, exploring his metamorphosis from a young duke to a looming figure of prophetic significance. Lady Jessica's inner turmoil, torn between her training and maternal instincts, is poised for deeper exploration. And amidst the established cast, new faces emerge, promising layers of conflict and intrigue. A delicate equilibrium is struck between exposition and revelation, as the script navigates the complexities of its world. While the second act may tread a slower path, it lays the groundwork for a climactic crescendo, leaving the audience yearning for the promised conclusion. Yet, amidst the promises lies a shroud of uncertainty. Will the script effectively traverse the vast expanse of the novel's narrative? Can it sustain an unwavering engagement throughout its journey? The script for Dune, Part 2 emerges as a worthy successor, embracing the ethos of its predecessor while carving its own path. Prepare for a cinematic odyssey brimming with dialogue that stimulates the mind, characters that stir the soul, and a narrative that beckons the audience deeper into the sands of Dune. As anticipation mounts, the script stands as a testament to the promise of a visually captivating and emotionally resonant cinematic voyage. In a world where sands shift like whispers across vast dunes, where the echoes of destiny reverberate through time, a sonic tapestry unfolds. Hans Zimmer returns, his melodies like threads weaving through the fabric of Dune, Part 2. Reviews whisper of his mastery, hinting at a score that transcends mere accompaniment, becoming an integral part of the narrative itself. Themes evolve, shifting like the sands beneath our feet. Familiar echoes linger, haunting and ethereal, while new motifs emerge, reflecting the ever-changing landscape of Arrakis. Emotions surge and recede, mirroring the tumultuous journey of its inhabitants. Danger looms large, yet moments of intimacy offer solace amidst the chaos. Through the alchemy of sound, 
Zimmer conjures worlds within worlds. Instruments unknown and melodies untold transport us to the heart of Arrakis, immersing us in its alien beauty. Tension simmers beneath the surface, rising like a sandstorm ready to engulf all in its path. Yet amidst the turmoil, a thread of connection binds us to the characters, their struggles, their triumphs, their loves. And love, like a fragile blossom in the desert, blooms amidst the strife. Paul Atriides and Cheney, their love a beacon in the darkness, their theme a melody that echoes through time. Battles rage, fierce and unyielding, each note a clarion call to glory or despair. But the true measure of Zimmer's creation awaits, hidden within the folds of celluloid. Only within the embrace of the full cinematic experience will his symphony reveal its true power. Yet even now, in the whispers of early reviews, we sense its potency, its ability to elevate mere images to the realm of legend. For in the sands of Arrakis, where dreams and destinies collide, music becomes magic, and a mere score becomes an immortal tale, etched upon the winds of time. In, Sands of Detail, Unveiling the Production Design of Dune, Part 2, viewers are taken on a journey deeper into the world of Arrakis, meticulously crafted by the returning production designer, Patrice Vermette. Early reviews tantalize with the promise of a visual tapestry woven from sets, costumes, props, and an overarching design aesthetic that captivates the senses. As the story unfolds, new vistas emerge, each imbued with its own visual language, reflecting the diverse cultures and landscapes of Arrakis and beyond. The brutalist aesthetic introduced in the first film persists, emphasizing functionality over frivolity, with every detail serving a purpose in this harsh, unforgiving world. Among the myriad settings, GD Prime stands out, its dark opulence a testament to the decadence of the Harkonnen rulers. Here, lavish sets evoke a sense of depravity and excess, setting the stage for the machinations of those who dwell within. Costumes, too, play a pivotal role in conveying status and culture. The evolution of the Freeman attire mirrors their growing influence, while the grotesque extravagance of the Harkonnen garb serves as a stark reminder of their villainous nature. The enigmatic Bene Gesserit are cloaked in mystery and power, their attire hinting at hidden agendas and ancient traditions. Props ground the narrative in reality, each meticulously crafted to reflect the harsh realities of life on Arrakis. From weapons of war to technological marvels, every detail speaks to the intricate balance between tradition and innovation. Vermette's design choices seamlessly blend with the film's overarching aesthetic, creating a world that feels both tangible and immersive. From grand set pieces to the smallest prop, each element contributes to the rich tapestry of Dune's universe. While the full impact of Vermette's work can only be experienced on the big screen, early reviews hint at a production design that surpasses even the brilliance of its predecessor. With Vermette's attention to detail and Villeneuve's clear vision, Dune, Part 2 promises to be a visual feast for the eyes and a narrative journey unlike any other. Themes evolve, shifting like the sands beneath our feet. Familiar echoes linger, haunting and ethereal, while new motifs emerge, reflecting the ever-changing landscape of Arrakis. Emotions surge and recede, mirroring the tumultuous journey of its inhabitants. Danger looms large, yet moments of intimacy offer solace amidst the chaos. Through the alchemy of sound, Zimmer conjures worlds within worlds. Instruments unknown and melodies untold transport us to the heart of Arrakis, immersing us in its alien beauty. Tension simmers beneath the surface, rising like a sandstorm ready to engulf all in its path. Yet amidst the turmoil, a thread of connection binds us to the characters, their struggles, their triumphs, their loves. And love, like a fragile blossom in the desert, blooms amidst the strife. Paul Atriides and Cheney, their love a beacon in the darkness, their theme a melody that echoes through time. Battles rage, fierce and unyielding, each note a clarion call to glory or despair. But the true measure of Zimmer's creation awaits, hidden within the folds of celluloid. Only within the embrace of the full cinematic experience will his symphony reveal its true power. Yet even now, in the whispers of early reviews, we sense its potency, its ability to elevate mere images to the realm of legend. For in the sands of Arrakis, where dreams and destinies collide, music becomes magic, and a mere score becomes an immortal tale, etched upon the winds of time. In, Sandworms and Spice, unveiling the special effects of Dune, Part 2, Anticipation is high for the visual wonders promised by the sequel. Following the groundbreaking success of the first installment, the special effects in this next chapter are under close scrutiny. 
Early reviews hint at what audiences can expect from the CGI spectacle. Critics praise the seamless integration of CGI with practical sets and locations, breathing life into the harsh beauty of the desert planet, Arrakis. The lifelike quality of the CGI creatures, particularly the colossal sandworms, is highlighted as a major visual triumph. Expectations are set high for the realistic portrayal of action sequences, promising epic spaceship battles and conflicts between the Freeman and Harkonnen forces. In this next iteration, the visual effects are reported to push boundaries even further. The sandworms receive a visual upgrade, emphasizing their immense size and power in greater detail. Additionally, the valuable spice melange is said to be brought to life in a captivating and believable manner. The film is praised for its ability to balance grand spectacle with subtler effects that enhance environments and character actions. While some cautious voices warn against potential over-reliance on CGI in certain scenes, the overall consensus remains positive. The special effects are seen as integral in translating the fantastical elements of Frank Herbert's novel to the big screen, elevating the film's visual appeal. Ultimately, the true verdict on the special effects can only be delivered upon experiencing the film in its entirety. However, early reports suggest that Dune, Part 2, will deliver a visually stunning cinematic experience, seamlessly blending cutting-edge CGI with practical effects to create a believable and awe-inspiring world. In Sands of Meaning, exploring themes and messages in Dune, Part 2, the film's thematic impact awaits its release. Early reviews provide insights into potential messages and social commentary woven into the narrative. Here are key themes to consider. Paul's transformation delves into the dangers of unchecked power and the allure of charismatic leadership. Relevant to today's concerns about political polarization and populist leaders, the film tackles this theme with nuance, prompting viewers to question blind faith's consequences. The Freeman's fight against the Harkonnens raises ethical questions about violence and revenge's perpetuation. Reflecting real-world struggles against oppression, the film explores these issues with depth, depicting violence as emotional toll on both sides. The film delves into Arrakis' ecological importance and spice harvesting's destructive nature. A cautionary tale about environmental exploitation, it highlights the consequences of unchecked resource extraction. The Freeman's religious beliefs and reverence for Paul as the Messiah are explored, prompting viewers to question faith's power and manipulation within religious system. The film takes a balanced approach, respecting the Freeman's faith while exploring its complexities. Dune, Part 2 weaves these themes thoughtfully and is relevant to contemporary audiences. Using Arrakis as a backdrop, it prompts critical engagement with questions about power, leadership, and humanity's future. These themes, based on early reviews, may not encompass all ideas in the film. Nevertheless, they offer a promising glimpse into the depth and social commentary of Dune, Part 2. Critics praise the seamless integration of CGI with practical sets and locations, breathing life into the harsh beauty of the desert planet, Arrakis. The lifelike quality of the CGI creatures, particularly the colossal sandworms, is highlighted as a major visual triumph. Expectations are set high for the realistic portrayal of action sequences, promising epic spaceship battles and conflicts between the Freeman and Harkonnen forces. In this next iteration, the visual effects are reported to push boundaries even further. The sandworms receive a visual upgrade, emphasizing their immense size and power in greater detail. Additionally, the valuable spice melange is said to be brought to life in a captivating and believable manner. The film is praised for its ability to balance grand spectacle with subtler effects that enhance environments and character actions. While some cautious voices warn against potential over-reliance on CGI in certain scenes, the overall consensus remains positive. The special effects are seen as integral in translating the fantastical elements of Frank Herbert's novel to the big screen, elevating the film's visual appeal. Ultimately, the true verdict on the special effects can only be delivered upon experiencing the film in its entirety. However, early reports suggest that Dune, Part 2, will deliver a visually stunning cinematic experience, seamlessly blending cutting-edge CGI with practical effects to create a believable and awe-inspiring world. In the realm of cinematic anticipation, there exists a storm of excitement surrounding the forthcoming release of Dune, Part 2. Early assessments suggest that this sequel is primed to make a profound impact on audiences. Let's delve into the potential effects it may have. Firstly, emotional resonance is expected to be a hallmark of this cinematic journey. 
Balancing the grandeur of sweeping spectacle with intimate character moments, the film promises to take viewers on a complex emotional odyssey. Themes of love, loss, and sacrifice are poised to provoke a range of sentiments, from sheer awe to profound heartache. Furthermore, the exploration of weighty concepts such as leadership, faith, and environmentalism is likely to leave audiences with much to contemplate long after the credits roll. In terms of its impact on different demographics, the film's appeal seems varied. Sci-fi enthusiasts are poised to rejoice, as Dune, Part 2 offers a visually stunning and intellectually stimulating exploration of a rich fictional universe. However, purists of the original literary work may find cause for critique, as certain creative liberties may stray from their expectations of a faithful adaptation. Nonetheless, there lies the potential to cultivate a new generation of Dune aficionados, captivating them with the film's arresting visuals and intricate narrative tapestry. Early reports hint at the potential for Dune, Part 2 to leave an enduring impression on its audience. With its blend of striking visuals, profound themes, and emotional depth, the film promises to linger in the minds of viewers long after they depart the theater. Yet, it's essential to acknowledge potential hurdles, such as the dense mythology that may prove daunting to newcomers and a rumored slower pacing in the second act that could challenge some viewers' engagement. In conclusion, Dune, Part 2 emerges as a film of considerable promise, capable of captivating audiences from all walks of life. While it may demand a certain degree of prior knowledge or patience, its epic visuals, engrossing narrative, and exploration of timeless themes ensure a cinematic experience that is both enriching and rewarding. As the sands shift and the story unfolds, Dune, Part 2 emerges as a cinematic journey unlike any other. Directed by a visionary, this sequel embodies the essence of epic storytelling, captivating audiences with its immersive visuals and compelling narrative. In Dune, Part 2, we're thrust into the heart of Paul Atreides' journey. He's on the run, seeking shelter among the fierce freemen, the desert dwellers of Arrakis. But this isn't just any desert, it's a planet brimming with secrets and strife. Paul's burning with the betrayal that tore his world apart. The Harkonnens, those ruthless power grabbers, have seized control of Arrakis, the lifeline of the Spice Melange, the universe's golden ticket. And Paul, well, he's got revenge on his mind. But here's the kicker, as Paul dives deep into Freeman life, something shifts. He's not just surviving, he's thriving. They call him Muad Dib, their chosen leader. Suddenly, he's got a following, rallying the freemen against their oppressors with promises of freedom. But hold on to your seats because here's where it gets wild, Paul's got a gift. Visions of a blood-soaked future, a jihad fueled by his very presence, haunt him. He's torn between two worlds, his love for Cheney, the fierce freeman beauty, and the weight of the cosmos on his shoulders. This ain't just your run-of-the-mill hero's journey. It's a roller coaster of power, destiny, and the dangerous allure of fanaticism. Can Paul navigate this minefield of choices and emerge as the savior or succumb to the very forces he seeks to conquer? Strap in, folks, cause this ride's about to get intense. In Dune, Part 2, the sands of Arrakis set the stage for electrifying performances that'll grip your soul and refuse to let go. Timothy Chalamet returns as Paul Atreides, diving deep into his character's journey with raw intensity. But hold on to your seats, because Zendaya steps up as Cheney, unleashing a warrior spirit that'll leave you breathless. Rebecca Ferguson's Lady Jessica. She's back and she's fiercer than ever, juggling secrets and maternal instincts with jaw-dropping finesse. And brace yourselves for the newcomers. Austin Butler storms onto the scene as Phaedrotha Harkonnen, losing charm and menace in equal measure. And then there's Florence Pugh, shrouded in mystery, ready to unravel the plot with a performance that'll keep you guessing. But it's not just about the stars. Oh no. Javier Bardem, Josh Brolin, Stellan Skarsgård, they're all in on the action, weaving a web of intrigue and emotion that'll leave you reeling. Dune, part two, isn't just a movie, folks. It's an experience. So buckle up and get ready for a ride that'll take you to the edge of the universe and back. Denis Villeneuve's cinematic mastery takes us on an electrifying ride in part two. Brace yourselves for a mind-bending journey through politics, power, and the enigmatic desert planet of Arrakis. In this installment, Villeneuve doesn't just expand the story, he detonates it, plunging us deeper into the labyrinth of intrigue and ambition. You think you know Dune? Think again. Villeneuve's twists and turns will keep you on the edge of your seat, gasping for breath.
Get ready to feast your eyes on visuals so stunning they'll sear themselves into your memory. From the vast deserts of Arrakis to the heart-pounding action sequences, every frame is a masterpiece. And just when you think you've seen it all, Villeneuve unleashes visual effects that'll blow your mind. But hold on to your seats, because the pacing of this film is a roller coaster ride of tension and release. Villeneuve is a maestro, conducting our emotions with precision, leaving us craving more with every beat. And the best part? He doesn't waste a second on needless exposition. Every moment is charged with meaning, propelling us ever forward. And let's talk direction. Villeneuve doesn't just direct, he commands the screen with the authority of a desert storm. His vision for Dune, Part 2 is bold, ambitious, and utterly captivating. Themes of power, ecology, and the human spirit collide in a symphony of brilliance that will leave you breathless. So buckle up, because Denis Villeneuve is about to take you on the ride of your life. Dune, Part 2 isn't just a movie, it's an experience you'll never forget. Step into the world of Dune, Part 2, where the sands of the script hide secrets yet to be revealed. Early reviews tease at what's to come, hinting at a script packed with gripping dialogue, intense character growth, and twists that'll leave you breathless. Picture words heavy with meaning, dripping with elegance. The talk in Dune, Part 2. It's like poetry, diving deep into the minds of characters and the world they inhabit. And guess what? It's not just pretty words, it's got substance, too. Expect conversations that'll make you ponder the universe itself. We're not just watching characters, we're witnessing transformations. Paul Atreides. He's not just a duke anymore, he's on the brink of something big, something dangerous. And then there's Lady Jessica, torn between duty and love, her struggle hitting close to home. But wait, there's more. New faces bring fresh drama, adding layers to an already complex story. Hold on to your seats, folks, cause this script knows how to keep you guessing. It's like a roller coaster ride, fast paced and full of surprises. You'll think you've got it all figured out, and then bam. A twist that'll leave your jaw on the floor. And just when you think you can catch your breath, it's off to the races again. But hey, let's not get too comfortable. There's still a question mark hanging over our heads. Can this script handle the weight of the novel's epic tale? Will it keep us glued to our seats from start to finish? Only time will tell, my friends. Get ready for a wild ride, folks. Dune, Part 2's script is shaping up to be one heck of a journey. With dialogue that'll make you think, characters that'll make you feel, and twists that'll make you gasp, this is one script you won't want to miss. So buckle up and get ready to dive back into the sands of Dune. In a world where every grain of sand tells a story, Dune, Part 2 emerges like a blazing sun, promising a visual feast that outshines its predecessor. Let's unravel the secrets of its mesmerizing cinematography. Picture this, a majestic tapestry woven with threads of grandeur and intimacy. As vast as the desert of Arrakis, yet as personal as a whispered confession. We're talking about capturing the soul of characters amidst sweeping landscapes and lavish palaces, painting a canvas as rich and mysterious as the Dune universe itself. But wait, there's more. Brace yourselves for a roller coaster ride of camera angles that plunge you deep into the heart of the action. Wide shots sweep you off your feet, hurling you into the endless expanse of Arrakis, while close-ups pull you close, whispering secrets and revealing the innermost thoughts of our heroes and villains. It's a power play of epic proportions, where every frame is a battlefield of dominance and submission. And then, there's light. Oh, the glorious dance of light and shadow. Under the scorching desert sun, shadows morph into allies, shaping the narrative with their stark contrasts. But it's not just about illumination, it's about emotion. Watch closely as light caresses the faces of our characters, exposing their fears, desires, and vulnerabilities in a symphony of colors and shades. Now, here's the twist, an expanded color palette that ignites the screen with the vibrant hues of Arrakis bioluminescent wonders. It's a visual feast unlike anything you've ever seen, a kaleidoscope of colors that dazzles the senses and sparks the imagination. But the real magic lies in the overall aesthetic appeal. Dune Part 2 isn't just a movie, it's an experience. A journey through a world meticulously crafted, where every frame is a masterpiece of storytelling. And as the curtain rises, we can only hold our breath and wait for the spectacle to unfold. So, dear audience, prepare yourselves. For Dune, Part 2 is not just a movie, it's a revelation. A visual symphony orchestrated by the masterful hand of Denis Villeneuve and captured through the lens of Greg Fraser.
A journey into the unknown, where every frame holds a secret and every shot leaves you breathless. In the heart of a desert world where destiny hangs like a shimmering mirage, a maestro returns. Hans Zimmer, the wizard of sound, weaves his sonic spells once more in Dune, part 2. Critics are buzzing, hinting at a score that's not just music, but pure magic. Old melodies dance with new tunes, creating a symphony that's both familiar and fresh. It's like watching the sunrise over shifting sands, each note painting the sky with colors you've never seen before. And emotions? They're like wild sandstorms, sweeping you up in their whirlwind of excitement, fear, and love. But it's not just about the music, it's about the world it paints. Zimmer's instruments are like brushes, painting vivid landscapes of alien beauty. You'll feel the heat of the sun, the whisper of the wind, and the weight of destiny pressing down on every beat. And speaking of destiny, love is in the air. Amidst the chaos and conflict, a romance blooms like a rare desert flower. Paul and Cheney, their love story is a melody that'll tug at your heartstrings, amidst the thunder of epic battles and the quiet moments of reflection. But here's the twist, it's not just about what you see on screen. It's about what you feel in your soul. Zimmer's score isn't just background noise, it's the heartbeat of the story, pumping life into every frame. So buckle up, folks, because Dune, Part 2 isn't just a movie. It's a journey. And with Zimmer at the helm, it's a journey you won't soon forget. In, Sands of Detail, unveiling the production design of Dune, Part 2, we're diving deep into the world of Arrakis, where every grain of sand tells a story. Patrice Vermette, the mastermind behind the visual feast, is back with a vengeance, crafting a universe that'll leave you breathless. Picture this, new horizons stretch out before us, each one a symphony of sights and sounds. From the dusty plains of Arrakis to the opulent halls of GD Prime, every location has its own tale to tell. And let me tell you, the story ain't pretty. We're talking brutalist beauty here, folks. Functionality reigns supreme, with no room for frills or fancy. It's survival of the fittest out here, and Vermette's designs drive that point home with a sledgehammer. But don't think for a second that it's all doom and gloom. Oh no, we've got some serious eye candy on display. GD Prime, with its dark opulence, is a sight to behold. Think decadence dialed up to 11, and you're only scratching the surface. Now, let's talk threads. Costumes aren't just clothes in Dune, Part 2, they're statements. The Freemen are leveling up, folks, their attire mirroring their rise to power. And the Harkonnens? Well, let's just say they're not holding back on the grotesque and flamboyant front. And then there's the Bene Gesserit, cloaked in mystery and power. Their costumes? Let's just say they're hiding more than a few secrets. But it's not all about looks. Props are where the rubber meets the road, my friends. Every weapon, every gadget, tells a story of its own. And trust me, you won't find any flimsy replicas here. It's all about realism, baby. Vermette's vision. It's like poetry in motion, seamlessly blending with the film's overall aesthetic. From the grandest set piece to the tiniest trinket, every detail is carefully curated to draw you in and never let go. So buckle up, folks, because Dune, Part 2 is taking us on a wild ride. With Vermette at the helm, there's no telling where this journey will take us. One thing's for sure, though, it's gonna be one hell of a ride. Sandworms and Spice, unveiling the special effects of Dune, Part 2 Inch promises a wild ride packed with jaw-dropping visuals that'll leave you breathless. Forget what you thought you knew about CGI because this sequel is taking it to a whole new level. Picture this, seamless integration that blurs the line between reality and fiction. We're talking lifelike creatures that'll make you do a double take, especially those colossal sandworms stealing the show. And the environments? They're not just sets, they're living, breathing worlds that'll transport you straight to Arrakis. But hold on to your seats because the action is about to explode. Get ready for epic battles that'll have you on the edge of your seat, from spaceship showdowns to clashes between the Freeman and Harkonnen forces. It's like being in the middle of a sci-fi war zone. And just when you think you've seen it all, we're pushing the boundaries even further. Those sandworms. They've had a makeover, showcasing their sheer size and power like never before. And let's not forget about the spice, it's not just a plot point, it's a visual masterpiece that'll mesmerize you. But hey, we're not all about flashy effects. We know how to strike a balance, weaving subtle touches into the mix to enhance every scene. It's the perfect blend of spectacle and sophistication that'll leave you wanting more. Now, I know what you're thinking. 
Is it all CGI overload? Well, let me put your mind at ease. While some may raise an eyebrow at the reliance on CGI, the consensus is clear, it's all about enhancing the story, not overshadowing it. So, buckle up, folks. The final verdict on these special effects can only be delivered one way, by experiencing the film for yourself. But if early reports are anything to go by, Dune, Part 2, is shaping up to be a visual extravaganza that'll blow your mind. In, Sands of Meaning, Exploring Themes and Messages in Dune, Part 2, we're diving into the juicy depths of what this epic has to offer. Picture this, Paul Atreides, our main man, going from zero to hero in the blink of an eye. But hold on to your hats because there's a twist. As Paul embraces his messianic role, we're slapped in the face with the dangers of unchecked power and the seductive charm of charismatic leaders. Sound familiar? Yeah, it's hitting close to home with today's political chaos and those flashy leaders who seem to have all the answers. But wait, there's more. Cue the Freeman uprising against the Harkonnens. It's a brawl of epic proportions, but beneath all the action lies a deep question, is revenge really worth it? We're talking about the kind of revenge that just keeps the cycle of violence spinning like a never-ending merry-go-round. Real talk, folks, this theme cuts deep, reflecting the struggles we see in our own world against oppression and the messy road to justice. Now, let's talk about Arrakis. This desert planet isn't just a pretty backdrop, it's a cautionary tale about messing with Mother Nature. Spice, the planet's lifeblood, is being sucked dry faster than you can say, environmental disaster. We're left wondering, are we doomed to repeat the same mistakes of exploiting resources until there's nothing left? And hold on to your hats, because we're not done yet. Enter the Freemen and their faith in Paul as their savior. But here's the kicker, is blind faith really all it's cracked up to be? The film dives deep into the murky waters of religion, asking tough questions about belief and the power dynamics at play. Spoiler alert, it's a wild ride. Overall, Dune, Part 2 isn't just your average blockbuster. It's a thought-provoking journey through themes that hit close to home. So buckle up, folks, because this film isn't just entertainment, it's a mirror reflecting the messy, complicated world we live in. And trust me, you won't want to miss a second of it. In the realm of cinematic excitement, brace yourselves for the electrifying sequel, Dune, Part 2. Critics are buzzing with anticipation, and here's why. Prepare for an emotional roller coaster like no other. We're talking about a film that seamlessly blends breathtaking spectacle with intimate character moments. Get ready to feel it all, from the heart-swelling highs of love and awe to the gut-wrenching lows of loss and sacrifice. But that's not all. Brace yourselves for a mind-bending exploration of weighty themes like leadership, faith, and the environment. This isn't your average popcorn flick, it's a journey that will leave you pondering long after the credits roll. Now, let's talk impact. Sci-fi junkies, rejoice. Dune, part 2 is your ticket to paradise. It's a visual feast that'll tickle your brain cells with its thought-provoking narrative. But hold on tight, because not everyone's going to be singing its praises. Purists, beware. While the film stays true to the essence of the novel, there are a few creative twists that might leave you scratching your head. But fear not. Because amidst the chaos, a new generation of Dune devotees is set to emerge, mesmerized by the film's spellbinding visuals and intricate storytelling. And now, for the kicker. Early whispers suggest that Dune, Part 2 is going to leave a mark, a big one. We're talking about an experience so immersive, so captivating, that it'll stay with you long after you've left the theater. But here's the catch. For the uninitiated, the dense mythology might be a bit of a brain buster. And rumor has it, there's a slower stretch in the second act that might test your patience. But fear not, brave souls, for the rewards are well worth the journey. In summary, Dune, Part 2 isn't just a movie, it's an event. With its jaw-dropping visuals, gripping story, and exploration of timeless themes, it's a cinematic experience like no other. So buckle up, folks, because the storm is coming, and you won't want to miss it. In the blazing sequel, Dune, Part 2, we're thrust into Paul Atreides tumultuous journey. He's on the run, seeking solace among the enigmatic freemen, natives of the unforgiving desert world, Arrakis. Betrayal festers in his heart, fueled by the devastation that befell his kin at the hands of the sinister Harkonnens, who now rule Arrakis with an iron fist, controlling its lifeblood, the precious spice melange. 
Paul's transformation is electric as he embraces the Freeman's ways, unlocking powers he never knew he possessed. Rising as their leader, Muad'Dib, he ignites a rebellion against the oppressive Harkonnens, promising liberation to his newfound comrades. But here's the twist, Paul's heroic path is clouded by ominous visions of a blood-soaked future, a jihad of his own making. Caught in a web of duty and desire, Paul faces a heart-wrenching dilemma, pursue his blossoming love for Cheney, a fierce Freeman warrior, or embrace his destiny as savior of the universe. It's a roller coaster ride through power struggles, destiny's grip, and the seductive allure of fanaticism as Paul grapples with his fate. Get ready for a mind-bending adventure that'll keep you on the edge of your seat till the very end. In the fiery sequel, Dune, Part 2, buckle up for a wild ride through the sands of Arrakis as our stellar cast brings the heat. Timothy Chalamet is back as Paul Atreides, and let me tell you, he's not holding back. Watch him harness his power, wrestle with his demons, and embrace his destiny like never before. It's a roller coaster of emotions you won't want to miss. But wait, there's more. Zendaya steps into the spotlight as Cheney, unleashing her inner warrior with a fierceness that'll leave you breathless. And Rebecca Ferguson. She's back and better than ever as Lady Jessica, weaving through the complexities of her past while holding on to her maternal instincts with an iron grip. Hold on to your seats, folks, because we've got some newcomers stealing the show. Austin Butler storms in as Phaedrotha Harkonnen, losing charisma and danger in every scene. And Florence Pugh. She's got a secret up her sleeve that'll keep you guessing until the very end. But it's not just about the stars, our supporting cast is bringing their A-game too. Javier Bardem, Josh Brolin, and Stellan Skarsgård round out the ensemble, adding depth and intrigue to an already epic tale. So, grab your popcorn and get ready for a thrill ride unlike any other. Dune, Part 2, is here to blow your mind and leave you begging for more. In the heart-pounding sequel to Denis Villeneuve's Dune, Get ready to dive back into the sand-swept world of Arrakis like never before. Here's the scoop. Picture this. Villeneuve takes the foundation laid in the first film and ramps it up to 11. We're talking political intrigue so thick you could cut it with a Chris knife. But hold on to your still suits because there are some unexpected twists and turns that'll leave you on the edge of your seat. And yeah, while we're staying true to the spirit of Frank Herbert's masterpiece, there's also a dash of Villeneuve's signature creativity thrown into the mix. Buckle up, folks, because we're about to take a wild ride through the stunning vistas of Arrakis. Villeneuve doesn't just stop at breathtaking. He kicks it up a notch with visuals that'll make your jaw drop. And get this, the action scenes. They're not just epic, they're mind-blowing. Think sandworms, spice, and spectacular battles that'll have you cheering for more. Hold on to your sandworms, folks, because Villeneuve's got pacing down to a science. It's like riding a sandcrawler through the desert intense, immersive, and totally exhilarating. And just when you think you've caught your breath, bam, Villeneuve hits you with another twist that'll leave you scrambling to keep up. Villeneuve's vision for Dune, part 2 is nothing short of genius. He weaves together themes of power, ecology, and the human spirit with the skill of a Freeman warrior. But don't take my word for it, strap in and see for yourself as he takes you on a journey through the sands of Arrakis unlike anything you've ever experienced. Get ready to be blown away, folks, because Dune, Part 2 is coming in hot. With Villeneuve at the helm, this is one ride you won't want to miss. So grab your spice, hold on to your still suits, and prepare to be transported to a world where the unexpected lurks around every corner. Reviews are buzzing, hinting at a script that's packed with punchy dialogue, character transformations that'll make your head spin, and plot twists that'll leave you gasping for air. Think deep thoughts and elegant words. The dialogue here isn't just words, it's a symphony of minds clashing and hearts breaking. It's poetry in motion, reflecting the complexity of the characters and their world. Hold on to your hats, folks. Paul Atreides isn't just a kid anymore, he's on a one-way trip to destiny. And Lady Jessica? She's juggling her secret society training with a mother's love, walking a tightrope over a pit of secrets. Oh, and there are new faces in town, bringing their own baggage of conflict and mystery. Buckle up, because this script doesn't just hold your hand, it grabs you by the collar and drags you along for the ride. Exposition meets surprise at every turn, weaving a web of intrigue that'll keep you guessing. But watch out for the second act, it might slow things down a bit, but it's just setting the stage for an explosive finale that'll blow your socks off. But wait, there's a shadow lurking in the sand. 
Can this script wrangle the sprawling narrative of the novel into a tight, engaging package? Will it keep us on the edge of our seats from start to finish? Get ready to be swept away, because Dune, Part 2's script is more than just words on a page. It's a roller coaster of emotions, a thrill ride through the desert of the mind. So hold on to your popcorn and brace yourself for a cinematic experience like no other. In the realm of cinema, whispers of a visual masterpiece echo through the corridors of anticipation. Dune, Part 2 emerges from the sands of expectation, promising a spectacle beyond imagination. But what secrets lie within its frames? Let's dive deep into the shadows and light, into the heart of this cinematic marvel. Picture this, a world both vast and intimate, where sweeping landscapes of Arrakis collide with the delicate intricacies of human emotion. From the grandeur of desert horizons to the whispered confessions of our protagonists, every frame is a canvas, painted with a touch of mystique that leaves us yearning for more. Behold the power of perspective. Wide shots engulf us in the boundless expanse of Arrakis, while close-ups draw us into the very souls of its inhabitants. But watch closely, for beneath the surface lies a dance of power and tension, as the camera weaves its tail through the shifting sands of allegiance and betrayal. In this world of contrasts, light and shadow dance a delicate waltz, casting truths into darkness and revelations into the light. From the harsh glare of the desert sun to the gentle glow of bioluminescent life, every hue serves a purpose, painting the emotions of our characters in vivid strokes of color. Prepare to be mesmerized, for Dune, Part 2 is more than just a film, it's an experience. With every frame meticulously crafted, every shadow carefully placed, it promises to transport us to a world beyond our wildest dreams. But beware, for in the heart of beauty lies danger, and in the depths of wonder, lies mystery. As the curtain rises and the screen comes to life, we are but passengers on a journey through time and space. But fear not, for in the hands of master storytellers, every twist and turn is a revelation, every moment a revelation. So buckle up, dear audience, for the adventure of a lifetime awaits. In a world where the shifting sands of Arrakis whisper secrets of destiny, Hans Zimmer's sonic mastery returns to weave a tapestry of intrigue in Dune, Part 2. Picture this, themes evolving like shadows in the desert, blending the familiar with the unknown, all while emotions surge and collide like sandstorms on the horizon. But hold on tight, because Zimmer's not just painting by numbers here. Oh no, he's concocting a potion of sound that'll transport you straight into the heart of Arrakis. Picture this, instruments you've never even heard of, melodies that dance between danger and desire, all conspiring to pull you deeper into this alien world. And speaking of danger, there's tension in the air thicker than sand in your boots. Zimmer's got a knack for building suspense, layering it on until you can practically taste the adrenaline. But don't worry, amidst all the chaos, there's a lifeline, a melody that tugs at your heartstrings, connecting you to the characters like never before. Now, let's talk about love. Yeah, that's right. Love in the desert. Paul Atriides and Cheney, their romance sizzling like the sun on the sand, their theme weaving through the narrative like a golden thread. But don't get too comfortable, because when the battles kick off, Zimmer's pulling out all the stops. Get ready for an auditory assault that'll have you on the edge of your seat, heart pounding like a sandworm on the hunt. But here's the kicker, we're just scratching the surface. The real magic happens when you're sitting in that theater, eyes wide, heart racing, as Zimmer's score takes you on a journey you'll never forget. So buckle up, folks, because Dune, Part 2 isn't just a movie, it's an experience. And with Zimmer at the helm, you know it's gonna be one hell of a ride. In the realm of, Sands of Detail, unveiling the production design of Dune, Part 2, we're diving deep into Arrakis, guided by none other than Patrice Vermet, the mastermind behind the stunning visuals of Dune, Part 1. Brace yourselves for a journey where every grain of sand tells a story and every corner hides a secret. First stop, new locations on Arrakis and beyond. Picture this, each spot with its own flair, a reflection of the diverse cultures and landscapes sprawling across this desert planet. But hold on tight, because we're not just talking pretty landscapes here. We're talking brutalist vibes, where every structure screams functionality over frills, a stark reminder that survival is the name of the game in this harsh, unforgiving world. Now, let's talk GD Prime. Dark, opulent, dripping with decadence. This is the Harkonnen homeworld in all its twisted glory. But don't let the lavish sets fool you. Behind every ornate facade lies a darker truth, a reminder of the depths of villainy that lurk within. 
Costumes, my friends, are more than just threads. They're a window into the soul of each character. Picture the Freeman, evolving before your eyes as they rise in power, their attire echoing their newfound strength. And then there's the Harkonnens, grotesque and flamboyant, their outfits a testament to their depravity. But watch out for the Bene Gesserit, mysterious, powerful, with secrets stitched into every seam. But it's not just about looks in this world. Props ground us in reality, each one meticulously crafted to tell its own tale. From weapons of war to ancient relics, every piece speaks volumes about the world of Arrakis and the forces that vie for control. Vermette's vision isn't just a feast for the eyes, it's a full-blown banquet. Every detail, from the grandest set piece to the tiniest trinket, weaves together to create a world that's as immersive as it is captivating. But here's the kicker, folks, the best is yet to come. Early reviews are buzzing with excitement, hinting at a production design that'll blow your socks off. With Vermette at the helm and Villeneuve's vision lighting the way, Dune, Part 2 promises to be a visual spectacle like no other. So buckle up, my friends, because we're in for one hell of a ride. In a world where sandworms rule the desert and spice is the most precious commodity, Dune, Part 2, is gearing up to blow minds with its jaw-dropping special effects. Brace yourselves for an epic ride through the visual wonders of Arrakis. Critics are raving about the seamless blend of CGI and real-world sets, thrusting audiences straight into the heart of the desert planet. Picture this, lifelike sandworms towering over the landscape, ready to swallow you whole. And that's just the beginning. Get ready for action-packed sequences that'll leave you on the edge of your seat. We're talking epic battles in space and on the ground, as the Freemen clash with the ruthless Harkonnen forces. It's a showdown like no other, brought to life with mind-blowing effects that'll make you feel like you're right there in the thick of it. But hold on tight, because, Dune, Part 2 isn't just about flashy spectacle. Oh no, it's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible on screen. Prepare to be wowed as the sandworms get an upgrade, showing off their colossal size and power in jaw-dropping detail. And let's not forget about the spice, watch as it shimmers and glows, drawing you deeper into the world of Arrakis. But hey, we're not stopping there. This film knows how to strike a balance, weaving subtle effects into the mix to enhance every scene. It's a delicate dance between spectacle and subtlety, and Dune, Part 2, pulls it off with style. Now, I know what you're thinking, with all this CGI wizardry, is there such a thing as too much? Some critics seem to think so, but the general consensus? Get ready for a visual feast that'll leave you hungry for more. So, buckle up and get ready for the cinematic event of the year. Dune, Part 2, is coming, and it's going to be one wild ride. In, Sands of Meaning, exploring themes and messages in Dune, Part 2, we're diving into the core of the upcoming film's power-packed narrative. Brace yourselves, folks, because we're about to unravel some mind-bending themes. First up, the dangers of charismatic leadership. Picture this, Paul Atriide stepping into his messianic shoes, but hold on to your hats because there's a twist. We're not just talking about heroics here, we're delving deep into the dark side of power. Think unchecked might and the seductive charm of charismatic leaders. It's like a roller coaster ride through political intrigue and the blurred lines between devotion and disaster. Now, strap in for the cycle of violence and revenge. You've got the Freeman locked in a showdown with the Harkonnens. But here's the kicker, it's not your typical good versus evil saga. We're diving headfirst into the murky waters of ethics. Does revenge really bring justice, or does it just stir up a never-ending whirlpool of suffering? Get ready for a gut-wrenching exploration of the emotional fallout on both sides of the conflict. Hold on to your hats because we're about to shift gears to ecology and resource exploitation. Picture this, Arrakis, the jewel of the universe, but there's a dark underbelly to this paradise. We're talking about the ruthless hunt for spice and the ecological havoc it wreaks. It's a cautionary tale that hits close to home, echoing our real-world struggles with environmental exploitation and dwindling resources. But wait, there's more. We're diving into the role of faith and belief. Picture this, the Freeman, with their unwavering devotion to Paul as the Chosen One. But here's the twist, we're not just taking their faith at face value. Get ready to peel back the layers and question the power dynamics at play. Is it blind devotion, or is there something more sinister lurking beneath the surface? Overall effectiveness. We're talking about a cinematic masterpiece that's as thought-provoking as it is pulse-pounding. With Arrakis as our backdrop, we're holding up a mirror to our own world, 
forcing us to confront the big questions about power, leadership, and the future of humanity. But hey, here's a word of caution, what you've just heard is just the tip of the sand dune. These themes, based on early reviews, are just the beginning. So buckle up, folks, because Dune, Part 2 is about to take you on the ride of a lifetime. In a world of cinematic anticipation, there's a tempest brewing around the upcoming release of Dune, Part 2. And let me tell you, folks, the buzz is electrifying. Critics are already predicting this sequel to be a game-changer, ready to hit audiences right in the feels. We're talking about an emotional roller coaster here, folks. Picture this, epic, jaw-dropping moments colliding with heart-wrenching personal stories. Love, loss, sacrifice, it's all in the mix, weaving a tapestry of emotions that'll leave you reeling. And hold on to your seats because we're not stopping there. This ain't just a movie, it's a thought-provoking journey into the depths of leadership, faith, and even environmentalism. Yeah, we're going deep, folks. Now, let's talk audience impact. Sci-fi fans, listen up. You're in for a treat. Dune, Part 2 is set to blow your minds with its mind-bending visuals and brain-teasing plot twists. But wait, there's a twist in the tale. Book purists, you might want to brace yourselves. While the spirit of the novel remains intact, there are some creative liberties taken that might just knock your socks off, or not, depending on your perspective. But hold on, here's the kicker, a new generation of Dune fans is about to be born. That's right, folks. Get ready to welcome a whole new wave of enthusiasts into the fold, mesmerized by the stunning visuals and spellbinding storytelling. And now, for the grand finale. Brace yourselves for a cinematic experience like no other. Dune, Part 2 is set to leave a mark, my friends. Its breathtaking visuals, mind-bending plot, and deep, resonant themes will linger in your mind long after the credits roll. But hey, let's not ignore the elephant in the room. For some, diving into the dense mythology might feel like diving into the deep end without a lifeguard. And hey, there's talk of a slower second act that might test your patience. But trust me, folks, it's all worth it in the end. In conclusion, buckle up, folks. Dune, Part 2 is about to take you on the ride of a lifetime. So grab your popcorn, hold on to your seats, and get ready to be swept away into a world of wonder and intrigue. In Dune, Part 2, we're thrust into Paul Atriide's world as he seeks refuge among the fierce freemen on the unforgiving sands of Arrakis. Betrayal gnaws at Paul's core, fueling his thirst for vengeance against the savage Harkonnens, who have seized control of Arrakis and its lifeblood, the precious spice melange, the universe's most coveted treasure. As Paul adapts to freeman life and uncovers his extraordinary abilities, he rises as their leader, the formidable Muad'Dib. He unites the scattered freemen, promising them freedom from the Harkonnen yoke. But Paul's mind is haunted by visions of a future bathed in blood, a future he fears he might be powerless to stop. Caught between his love for Cheney, a fierce freeman warrior, and the weight of destiny pressing down on him, Paul faces an impossible choice. The story plunges into a whirlwind of power, fate, and the perilous allure of fanaticism as Paul grapples with his role as a savior or a harbinger of destruction. In the fiery sands of Arrakis, Dune, Part 2, ignites with performances that'll grip you tighter than a sandworm's jaws. Returning champs like Timothy Chalamet as Paul Atriides. He's not just good, he's the real deal, showing us Paul's struggles like they're etched into his soul. Zendaya's Cheney. She's fiercer than ever, and the sparks between her and Paul. They're lighting up the whole damn desert. And hold on to your spice, because Rebecca Ferguson. She's back as Lady Jessica, weaving a web of intrigue with every glance and gesture. But it's the new blood that'll really set your pulse racing. Austin Butler as Phaedrotha Harkonnen. He's like a viper coiled to strike, losing charm and menace in equal measure. And Florence Pugh. She's got a role that's shrouded in mystery, adding twists that'll keep you guessing till the credits roll. But it's not just the big names stealing the show. With Javier Bardem, Josh Brolin, and Stellan Skarsgård in the mix, every scene crackles with tension and emotion. Dune, Part 2, isn't just a movie, it's a roller coaster ride through a world where power and passion collide. Strap in tight, folks, cause this ain't no ordinary sequel, it's a journey into the heart of darkness, with performances that'll leave you breathless. In the thrilling sequel to Denis Villeneuve's Dune, Part 2 plunges us deeper into the heart of Arrakis, where political intrigue and power struggles reign supreme. But this time, there's more at stake, and the twists are coming at you fast. Picture this, 
Though Nuv's cinematic wizardry takes us on a wild ride through stunning landscapes that'll leave you breathless. From the vast deserts to the sprawling cities, every frame is a visual masterpiece that pulls you right into the action. And speaking of action, get ready for some jaw-dropping sequences that'll have you on the edge of your seat. Though Nuv doesn't hold back, delivering epic battles and mind-blowing effects that'll make your heart race. But it's not all about the visuals. Villeneuve knows how to keep you hooked with a story that's as gripping as it is immersive. There's intrigue, there's drama, and there are twists that you won't see coming. And through it all, Villeneuve keeps the pace tight, never letting up for a second. It's a roller coaster ride of emotion and excitement that'll leave you begging for more. So buckle up, because Dune, Part 2 is about to take you on the adventure of a lifetime. Get ready to be dazzled, get ready to be thrilled, and get ready for the unexpected. This is cinema at its finest and you won't want to miss a single moment. Step into the realm of Dune, part 2, where the script remains shrouded, yet whispers of its power abound. Critics tease us with hints, promising a tale rich in dialogue, character depth, and plot twists that'll keep you on the edge of your seat. Picture this, words heavy with meaning, weaving a tapestry of philosophy and poetry that mirrors the complex souls of its characters. From Paul Atriide's transformation to Lady Jessica's inner conflict, the dialogue crackles with intensity, drawing you deeper into their world. And speaking of worlds, get ready for a roller coaster ride of political intrigue. Power plays between the Atriides, Harkonnens, and Freeman set the stage for an epic showdown where every word is a weapon. But hold on tight, because the twists and turns don't stop there. Just when you think you've got it all figured out, the script pulls the rug out from under you, leaving you gasping for breath. And while some may fear a sluggish second act, Rest assured, it's all part of the master plan, laying the groundwork for a jaw-dropping finale that'll leave you begging for more. But amidst the excitement, questions linger. Can the script wrangle the sprawling narrative of the novel into a coherent whole? Will it keep the pace brisk and the audience hooked from start to finish? In the end, one thing is certain, Dune, Part 2's script is a force to be reckoned with. So buckle up, because this is one ride you won't want to miss. In the heart of the desert, whispers echo of a visual masterpiece yet unseen. Brace yourselves for the revelation of Dune, Part 2 Cinematography, a tale spun with light and shadow, power and intimacy. Picture this, grand vistas stretching beyond the horizon, each grain of sand a testament to a raucous vastness. But amidst this grandeur, behold the subtlest of moments, as characters reveal their souls in the tight embrace of the lens. The world you thought you knew from the first film. It's back, but with a twist. Luxurious palaces gleam with opulence, while the desert's harsh beauty remains an ever-present force, weaving a tapestry of contrasts that will leave you breathless. But wait, there's more. Dive deeper into the mystique of Dune, where light dances with shadow in a ballet of intrigue. It's not just illumination, it's a language, speaking volumes about the character's inner turmoil and the universe's enigmatic secrets. And when it comes to angles, every shot is a revelation. Wide vistas draw you into a raucous unforgiving embrace, while close-ups pull you into the hearts of its inhabitants, where power shifts like shifting sands. But beware, for tension lurks in every frame. Action sequences crackle with energy, each camera movement a heartbeat racing towards an inevitable climax. Gripping, immersive, and utterly spellbinding. In this world of contrasts, lighting reigns supreme. The sun's harsh glare battles shadows for dominance, while colors dance like mirages on the desert sands. It's a visual symphony that plays on your emotions, amplifying every joy and every sorrow. And as the tapestry unfolds, behold the true spectacle, Dune, Part 2 cinematography is not just a feast for the eyes, but a journey for the soul. A journey crafted by the masterful hands of Villeneuve and Fraser, promising an experience that transcends mere cinema. So, prepare yourselves, dear audience, for the unveiling of a visual marvel unlike any other. For in the sands of Arrakis, a new legend is born, one that will leave you spellbound, breathless, and utterly captivated. In a world where every grain of sand tells a story, where the music is as powerful as the mightiest storm, Hans Zimmer steps back onto the sands of Arrakis for Dune, Part 2. Critics are buzzing, saying he's not just composing music, he's crafting an experience that'll shake you to your core. Picture this, old themes swirling in the wind like ghosts of the past, but with a fresh twist that'll make your heart race. And emotions? Oh, they're all over the map, from heart-pounding danger to moments so intimate, 
you'll swear you're right there with the characters. But it's the way Zimmer paints with sound that's got everyone talking. He's like a magician, conjuring up alien landscapes with instruments you've never even heard of. And when it comes to building tension, forget about it. He's a master, pulling you to the edge of your seat with every note. But hold on to your hats, folks, because here's where it gets really interesting. Love's taking center stage this time around, weaving its way into the heart of the story with a theme that'll stick with you long after the credits roll. And when the action kicks into high gear, Zimmer's right there with you, cranking up the volume until you can practically feel the explosions in your chest. But hey, don't just take my word for it. You'll have to see, and hear, it to believe it. So grab your popcorn and buckle up, because Dune, Part 2 is about to take you on a ride you won't soon forget. In the untold sands of Arrakis, a world of intrigue and danger, the mastermind behind the visual spectacle of Dune, Part 2, emerges. Patrice Vermet, the creative genius, delves deeper into the desert realm, crafting a landscape that will mesmerize and enthrall. This ain't your ordinary sequel, folks. Oh no. Strap in for a wild ride as we uncover new corners of Arrakis and beyond. Each twist and turn brings forth a visual feast, a feast for the eyes, mind, and soul. Picture this, brutalist beauty meets functional finesse. The first film's raw aesthetic. It's back, baby, with a vengeance. No frills, no fancy. Just pure, unadulterated grit. But hold on to your seats, cause we're not stopping there. GD Prime, the Harkonnen homeworld, emerges from the shadows. Dark, opulent, dripping with decadence. You think you've seen villainy? Think again, my friends. And oh, the costumes. Freeman warriors, rising from the sands, their attire evolving with each step they take. But beware the Harkonnens, for their depravity knows no bounds. Grotesque, flamboyant, a feast for the eyes in the worst possible way. But it's not just about the clothes, folks. Every prop, every weapon tells a story. A story of survival, of warfare, of the clash between tradition and progress. It's a delicate dance, my friends, one that'll keep you on the edge of your seat. Vermette's vision. It's seamless, my friends. A tapestry woven from the threads of imagination and creativity. From the grandest set piece to the tiniest trinket, every detail matters. It's a world unlike any other, and you're invited to explore every nook and cranny. But wait, there's more. Early reviews. They're raving, my friends. They say this ain't just a sequel. No, it's a masterpiece in the making. Vermette's attention to detail, Villeneuve's clear vision. It's a match made in cinematic heaven. So buckle up, folks. The journey's just begun, and trust me, you won't want to miss a single moment. Dune, part two, is coming, and it's gonna be one hell of a ride. In the much-awaited sequel, Sandworms and Spice, unveiling the special effects of Dune, part two, brace yourselves for a roller coaster ride through the mesmerizing world of CGI marvels. Critics are buzzing with excitement as they unravel the tantalizing secrets behind the visual spectacle of this epic saga. Picture this, CGI seamlessly merges with real-world sets and locations, thrusting you deep into the heart of Arrakis, the unforgiving desert planet. But wait, it gets better. The creatures are not just CGI, they're living, breathing entities. Massive sandworms rise from the depths, sending shivers down your spine as they dominate the screen with their jaw-dropping presence. And hold on to your seats, folks, because the action is about to explode. Spaceship battles ignite the sky with blazing intensity, while fierce clashes between the Freeman and Harkonnen armies keep you on the edge of your seat, gasping for breath. But that's not all, buckle up for a wild ride as the CGI wizards take it up a notch. The sandworms, those iconic behemoths, receive a mind-blowing upgrade, unleashing their colossal power in ways you've never seen before. And let's not forget about the spice, that precious substance comes alive, tantalizing your senses with its mesmerizing allure. But amidst the grand spectacle, there's a delicate balance at play. Subtle effects weave seamlessly into the fabric of the story, enhancing every scene with an air of authenticity that keeps you spellbound till the very end. Now, here's the twist, while some caution against an over-reliance on CGI, the overall consensus remains overwhelmingly positive. Critics agree that the special effects elevate the story to new heights, bringing Frank Herbert's visionary world to vivid life in ways that will leave you breathless. But hey, don't just take their word for it, the final verdict awaits. So grab your popcorn, buckle up, 
and get ready for a cinematic journey like no other. Dune, Part 2, promises to be a visual extravaganza that will blow your mind and leave you craving for more. In the mysterious world of Sands of Meaning, exploring themes and messages in Dune, Part 2, the plot thickens as we anticipate its release. Critics have been buzzing, hinting at the profound messages lurking beneath the surface. Let's dive in. First up, buckle your seatbelts for a wild ride through the dangers of charismatic leadership. Our hero, Paul Atreides, is on a collision course with destiny, but will he succumb to the dark side of power? Think political drama meets psychological thriller. Next, we've got the cycle of violence and revenge, a roller coaster of ethics and morality. Picture this, a desert rebellion, an uprising against tyranny. But here's the kicker, who's really pulling the strings, and at what cost? It's a nail-biter, folks. Now, let's talk ecology and resource exploitation. Spice Melange, the lifeblood of Arrakis, holds the key to power and destruction. But as tensions rise, so do the stakes. Can our heroes save the planet before it's too late? You won't want to miss a minute of this eco-thriller. And finally, faith and belief take center stage. The Freeman's devotion to Paul as the Chosen One is unwavering, but beneath the surface lies a tangled web of manipulation and doubt. Can faith conquer all, or are we headed for a showdown of biblical proportions? But hold on to your hats, folks, because the real twist. These themes are just the tip of the iceberg. With Dune, Part 2, expect the unexpected. This ain't your grandma's sci-fi flick. So, buckle up and get ready for a ride that'll leave you questioning everything you thought you knew. And remember, this is just a taste of what's to come. Sands of Meaning promises a cinematic experience like no other, one that'll leave you on the edge of your seat until the very end. In the realm of cinematic excitement, brace yourselves for the storm that is Dune, Part 2. Critics are buzzing with anticipation, and for good reason. This sequel is gearing up to pack an emotional punch and leave audiences reeling. Prepare to be swept away on a roller coaster of feels. Dune, Part 2 isn't just about eye-popping visuals, it's about the heart-wrenching journey of its characters. Love, loss, sacrifice, it's all there, folks. And it's gonna hit you right in the feels. But hold on to your seats, because this film isn't just for sci-fi buffs. Sure, they'll eat it up like candy, but even if you've never dipped your toes into the Dune universe, there's something here for you. Picture this, a fresh generation of Dune devotees, wide-eyed and captivated by the sheer epicness of it all. Now, here's where it gets juicy. Early word on the street is that Dune, Part 2 is gonna stick in your brain like superglue. The visuals are jaw-dropping, the themes are mind-bending, and the emotional depth. Don't even get me started. But hey, we're not gonna sugarcoat it, there might be a couple of bumps along the way. Dense mythology. Yeah, it's like diving headfirst into a rabbit hole. And there's talk of a slower second act that might test your patience. But trust me, stick with it. So buckle up, folks, because Dune, Part 2 is coming in hot. Get ready for a wild ride that'll leave you breathless, spellbound, and begging for more. In a realm where sand whispers secrets and power hangs heavy in the air, Dune, Part 2 emerges as a mesmerizing visual spectacle, poised to eclipse its predecessor in a blaze of cinematic glory. Dive deep with me into the heart of this enigmatic world, where every frame is a brushstroke on the canvas of imagination. Prepare to be swept away by a tapestry woven with threads of grandeur and intimacy. From the sweeping vistas of Arrakis to the hauntingly close glimpses into the souls of its inhabitants, the visual style of Dune, Part 2 is a symphony of contrasts. It builds upon the foundation laid by its predecessor, blending harsh desert landscapes with the opulent interiors of palaces, all while shrouding the world in an ethereal veil of mysticism. The magic of the camera knows no bounds in this cinematic odyssey. Wide shots beckon you into the vast expanse of Arrakis, while tight frames pull you intimately into the heart of the action. But beware, for every angle holds a secret, every frame a clue to the power struggles that simmer beneath the surface. And when the tension reaches its peak, the camera dances with a fury all its own, weaving a tale of intrigue and betrayal that will leave you breathless. In the land where shadows dance with light, every flicker of illumination tells a story. The harsh desert sun casts its golden gaze upon the sands, while shadows lurk in the corners, whispering secrets known only to the night. And amidst it all, the characters are bathed in a kaleidoscope of hues, each color a reflection of their innermost desires and fears. As the curtain rises on Dune, Part 2, B 
Be prepared to lose yourself in a world where beauty and danger walk hand in hand. Villeneuve's masterful direction guides you through the labyrinthine corridors of power, while Greg Fraser's stunning cinematography paints a portrait of a world on the brink of chaos. It's a visual feast for the senses, a journey into the heart of darkness that will leave you hungry for more. But beware, dear audience, for the true spectacle awaits only in the theater. Early reviews whisper of a film that defies expectations, a cinematic tour de force that will leave you spellbound from beginning to end. So steal yourself, for the sands of Arrakis are calling, and the fate of worlds hangs in the balance. In a world where the desert whispers secrets and destiny hangs in the balance, one maestro returns to weave sonic spells that'll leave you spellbound. Hans Zimmer's back, folks, and he's cooking up a storm for Dune, part 2. Early words in, and it's got our pulses racing. Picture this, familiar tunes from the first flick, but with a twist. Zimmer's not one to rest on his laurels. Nah, he's throwing in fresh beats, new vibes, all to keep us on our toes. It's like Caracas itself, ever shifting, ever evolving. And emotions? Strap in, folks. We're going on a roller coaster ride. From heart pounding danger to moments so tender they'll make you tear up, this score's got it all. It's like the soundtrack to the universe's biggest soap opera, and we're here for every dramatic moment. But hold on to your hats, cause Zimmer's not done yet. Oh no, he's pulling out all the stops, using instruments you've never even heard of to transport you straight to the heart of Arrakis. It's like stepping into another world, one where every note carries the weight of the desert itself. And speaking of weight, get ready for some serious tension. Zimmer's a master at ramping up the suspense, making every scene feel like a ticking time bomb just waiting to explode. You'll be on the edge of your seat, I guarantee it. But amidst all the chaos, there's a love story brewing, folks. Paul and Cheney, star-crossed lovers in a desert of danger. Zimmer's crafted a theme so beautiful, so haunting, it'll stick with you long after the credits roll. So, buckle up, my friends. The ride's just getting started, and with Zimmer at the helm, you know it's gonna be one hell of a journey. Dune, Part 2, coming soon to a theater near you. Through masterful performances and meticulous attention to detail, Dune, Part 2 invites viewers into a world where themes of leadership, faith, and environmentalism intertwine. From the towering cities to the endless dunes, every frame is a testament to the filmmaker's dedication to bringing a beloved universe to life. Yet, amidst the spectacle, Dune, Part 2 dares to explore the complexities of its mythology, challenging audiences to ponder the depths of its themes. While the journey may be daunting for newcomers, those who embark on this adventure will find themselves rewarded with a cinematic experience that transcends time and space. So, as the sands whisper tales of destiny and legacy, Dune, Part 2 stands as a beacon of cinematic excellence, a testament to the power of storytelling in its purest form. Dune, Part 2, A Journey You Won't Soon Forget